Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. A couple videos back, or maybe even on my last video, I, I can't remember which one it was, I had mentioned that you can have all the great makeup in the world, pay tons of money for makeup, but if you don't have the right tools, you're not gonna get the best results. So what I thought I would do is I would just do a quick walkthrough for you of the brushes that I use on a pretty consistent basis. Um, you know, for the most part, they're ones I use every day, but sometimes things might shift just a little bit based on um, what I'm putting on my face. So I thought I would walk through those with you and, and give you an idea of what I like to use as far as brushes and make some recommendations. Um, before I do though, I wanna point out my kimono today I am wearing. Um, this is from Cabby. I don't know if you guys have heard of Cabby. Here, I'll give you a look. It's down in the sleeves, really cute. Um, anyway. Uh, so I don't know if you're familiar with Cabby, but it is a, a shopping distribution method. Um, it is a, it's run by consultants all over the country. They will throw a home party for you. They'll come into your home. They'll bring all the clothes. You can try them on in the comfort of your home. They bring out uh, two seasons every year. There's a fall, winter, and then a spring, summer. Um, and the clothes are really great. My friend Betsy happens to be a consultant for them. And then she and I um, have been shopping Cabby way even long before she became a consultant. But um, I just wanted to highlight that I am wearing this today and I love it. I've always loved the things that I have gotten from them and um, for Betsy's support of my channel. So um, I will leave her information down below so you can click onto her site and just kind of poke around and see if there's anything you like. She does. Anyway, without further ado, I thought what I would do is I would start walking through the brushes based on what order I put makeup on my face just so that there is a method to my madness. First brush um, that I use on a pretty consistent basis, as in like every day, is my um, Sigma F80. It's the flat top kabuki brush. It is very densely bristled. It's got a flat top on the, that's why it's called the flat top. And I use it for foundation. I use it today, it's why it's dirty. Um, and you just dab it in. It's really great for getting that foundation on smoothly. Sometimes I will still just kind of pat everything in at the end with a sponge, but a lot of times I don't even really need to. Um, it's just great for really getting that foundation on evenly and quickly. Um, it's probably my favorite brush, one of my favorite brushes. And I will tell you how much I love this brush because this one I had previous to this one was maybe six, seven years old. And I was just washing it one day and the bristles just started coming out. Like it had lasted a really long time for me, but oh my gosh, what was I gonna do without my F80? So I jumped right on to Amazon and had one shipped to me. Luckily they had Prime, so I got it in two days because I don't know what I would do without this brush. Then, you know, typically I'll go in and I'll do my eyebrows. I like to do those next. And then I concentrate on the cheek areas. Um, depending on what I'm doing, I use different brushes. That's probably the area where I use the most different of brushes. Um, and like if I have a, if I'm using a powder bronzer, I use my big fluffy Chanel um, bronzer brush. If I'm using cream, um, I will a lot of times use this brush, a cream blush or cream bronzer. This is the Wayne Goss, um, number 12. It's $53. Ooh. But... I love this brush. It just really does such a good job of blending out those cream products and even the powder too. Sometimes if, if I get a, like a little too overzealous with blush or bronzer, this will just really blend it out for me and make me look a little less crazy. Um, so I just love the Wayne Goss brushes. Um, I have some of his other ones, but this is clearly my favorite and um, it's a good one. Then I usually move on to eyes after that. So, clearly I have a lot of favorite eye brushes. But I will go through each one of them for you. The um, Sigma brushes that I love are the Sigma um, E55 and the Sigma E35. What these do are two different things. This one is a very densely packed 
dome headed uh, eyeshadow brush and it's great for just packing shadow onto that lid. It really will give you a lot of pigment if that's what you're looking for and it's really great for that. Sometimes in a pinch too I use this in the crease if I want a more defined crease. Um, and then this brush here, this is the E55, this one's great for just kind of blending things out. I use this for blending out a shadow that I've already got on there, but it also, if I'm putting on a trans transition shade that's a little bit lighter and I want a more diffused look with it, I'll actually apply the shadow with this as well. Um, I love this brush so much, I think I've got three of them, just because I like to use one um, to put on shadow and then I like to have a clean one available when I'm putting my makeup on just to blend things out. So that is um, something that I do every day. These two brushes are from Real Techniques. These are the Perfect Crease Duo, and I love these for this one. It has a flatter top, it's slanted, and then this one's a really nice crease brush as well. Um, that one's actually, like I said, it's the same. Uh, it's very similar to that one, just a little bit um, more defined as far as putting shadow into the crease. The, um, the Sigma brush will give you more of a diffused look whereas this will really concentrate that shadow in the crease and then this one is great also for the lid I like this one for the lid but what I really love this brush for especially is for cream shadow it just really is, it's very good for just dabbing that into the cream shadow and then just pressing that on and then smoothing it out too so these two are like $8.99 I got them at Ulta together they're $8.99 and a lot of times even less than that because Ulta likes to do these buy one get 50% off um, and you can get these real, nice real technique brushes for not a lot of money. This brush I have been using every day since I got it. This is the BK Beauty 207. I love this brush. It is so good. This one I just like to use in the outer V. It is densely packed and it's got a smaller brush head. It's just great for getting that shadow exactly where you want it in the outer V. Um, it is just such a hero for me right now. And I just can't see not having this brush anymore. This one is $16. Um, but I, and I use it so much. It is such a good brush. Now, two brushes I use for liner. This is the NARS. It's $28. It's the um, slanted tip eyeliner. It's a very thin tip. You can see that. So it's great for really just getting into that lash line. I like it um, three ways actually. I use it for three different products. One is for just a dry powder or dry eyeshadow. If it's a darker color, I can just press it in there and that gives me more of like a smoky kind of diffused look if I just use it dry. If I want a more precise line, um, I will use this wet. And just here's a little tip for you. If you want your eyeliner to stay and you use it wet, use Visine. So get a couple drops of Visine, dip your brush in it, dip it into the shadow to make that kind of like that paste that you use and it'll stay all day. So anyway, um, if I'm not using a pencil liner and I want some kind of, I want that look, that sharper look, I can use this wet. And then I also will sometimes use this with like a gel eyeliner, your Bobbi Brown gel eyeliners, um, any of the other ones that you might use, it's really good for that as well. And this is the Trish McAvoy um, Precision Smudge Brush. I don't know that they still carry this. I tried to find it and what I did find was a brush by them called the Va Va Voom Large Smudge Brush and it seems to be a little bit bigger but this one was very small. I like this for a diffused, especially under my eye, um, powder look. I will use like a lighter brown or um, something that's really not so stark so it doesn't look very severe under my eye and just kind of use that as a, as a nice um, eyeliner brush under there. Finally, uh, two more brushes that I really like. One is the Real Techniques. Um, this is the custom, what is it? This is the custom complexion brush. And I like this for um, blending out my concealer under my eye. 
It does come, it does give you the option of three different um, strengths of bris bristles, I would say. Like if you wanted to do foundation, you could do like a, lar a looser br brush head with a less concentration of bristles. It has a little slider down here that you can use. Then if you go down one, you could do a contour maybe with that. Fits nice under the cheeks. And then on the minimum or the maximum brush head, what I like to use it for, it's great for concealer. See that? Go underneath and it just really is good for that concealer. And the final brush that I use is a powder brush. Um, it is the uh, BK Beauty 108. And this one I believe is $30. I love it for setting underneath the under eye. It is really good for that. And then I'll do the T-zone down my nose and then into my chin area too. So um, that's it. I obviously, you know, have used and loved a lot of brushes over the years. And um, so if you have any questions or there's one, if you have any pressing needs as far as brushes that you're looking for or something that um, you not, you're not sure how to use, please just drop something in the comments below and I'm happy to help you out with that. So I will put links to all these brushes in my comment, in my info box as well. So, so that's it for today. Um, I would love it if you would subscribe and ring the bell. I do upload twice a week. You will be notified um, that of my new content if you do ring the bell and subscribe. And um, until next time, be well. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks.